BG, I, I met BG. Uh, you go to my store when you come to Dallas, you'll see I got him on the wall with me before he went to prison. Did you get a chance? You know him and your dad. You know they hung out. Um, hey, y'all know that dude. Y'all the tip, bitch. Y'all know what that. When the homie hit the tip, when the homie hit the fucking tip. Hold up, get all this. Did you ever get a chance to talk with BG or any of those guys? Um, because you would have been young, right? Yeah, like I spent a lot of time with him in the day of the funeral. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. It's great, actually. A lot of my songs kind of like, I, I always like show my pops out. Thinking about my pop, how you let them snakes get you. You got too comfortable and let them niggas catch you slipping. You know what I'm saying? When you go to the gravesite and stuff, did it, did it kind of, you know, on these days, like say it was a day you was paying tribute, it, it kind of made you have to go there and thought, didn't it? Not really. Honestly, man, I, I kind of like, you know how a lot of people, it be hard for a lot of people to, I can't let it go, but I really gave peace to it, you know what I'm saying, to the situation, to myself. Like, I found peace within myself because I actually went through way more than people, anybody know I went through. Only person really knew, like, majority of everything I went through with my mama, you feel mm -hmm. me? Like, with counselors and different stuff, like, that's always been a part of my life, you know what I'm saying? So, like, a lot of people be like, well, he got real issues. He really crazy, you know what I'm saying? But I'm a regular person. Like, everybody got issues. Everybody go through, go through mental traumas. And, you know what I'm saying? Heartbreak. Do you, like that. you want to say something? What about um, BG? I, I met BG. Uh, you go to my store when you come to Dallas, you'll see I got him on the wall with me before he went to prison. Did you get a chance? You know him and your dad. You know, they hung out. Um did you ever get a chance to talk with BG or any of those guys? Um, Because you would have been young, right? Yeah, like, I spent a lot of time with him in the day of the funeral. Okay. Um, but not really after that. Not really after that? Uh -uh. Did people kind of pull back or were they... Yeah. Uh, they yeah, pulled back then? Yeah, you know how people are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like... Everybody how they did it. I, I understand it as a grown man. Everybody how they did it, they, they problems. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They be going through what they be going through. And then me growing up to understand the type of person he was. Yeah. I understand. You feel yeah. me? But like, um, his, a lot of his kids, like, I ain't, I ain't gonna just say like his son, like everybody know I know. You know what I'm saying? But like a, a couple of his kids like drew to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we got relationships. Dope. That's dope. That's live, man. Uh, I tried to. I think I tried to interview his mom uh, a little while ago, and I didn't get her. But I'm still working on it. Um, just uh, I can get his son for you, though. Really? Um, if you get him, that that where's he at? Right? He in, in, in New Orleans. Um, we got to get him. Ty Ty actually Ty locked up right now. That's what I was about to say. Like I kind of like like growing up, I, I went through a like. The backstory on me and T.Y. I met T.Y. when I was like 14. Okay. I ain't sleep, I ain't eating, I ain't bathe. I ain't been back to my spot in like three days. Okay. I used to hang out on Canal Street. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we were into each other. it. He knew who I was. I ain't really know who he, who he was, but we just connected. We just locked in. Um, so like we kind of like grew up together. Dope. Because Dope. a lot of people meet, they, I, I ain't know this, but a lot of people do meet their best friends like between the ages of 10 and 15, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that them really be like most crucial ages of your life. So we kind of like grew up together. We used to hang together. Um, but like we grew up doing everything together and he just got caught with some guns and stuff. So yeah, he just got caught with some go. guns and stuff. No better. I kind of, um, I kind of want to say too much, but he in jail right now. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? But that's still your partner, though. I'm trying to stash away your honey by my B-Day. T-O-G perk keep dozing off from the lean. Yeah, you know, like, this is one of my close partners, you know what I'm saying? Who I went through a lot, went through the most crucial times of my life, who I was broke with, who I got money with. And that's kind of why I watch what I say, I watch what I do, I watch who I go around. I don't really do As you too should. much. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really be on young nigga time like we used to be on. You then you're doing the right thing, man. Cause yeah. you know you're getting older too, Facts. and and you got you you here representing your pops, man. And like, I got three kids. You got three kids, and you here representing your pops. See y'all, you you he, what would he want? You know what he would want. He yeah. wants you to look out for your three kids, of course, like you want to do as yeah. well. But at the same time, also to create this legacy that he would have wanted to see. You know, right. 
that's the, that's what it's about for us, man. After you get so old, you just want to see the next generation. My son's 29, 30, what, 30? He's 29 now. 29. That's yeah. right. Yeah, and he, you know, he's striving, you know. Yeah. And the main thing is to leave a legacy when I'm gone that he'll, you know, be able to look at me and, like, dang, you know, he did his thing. Your see, dad did a hell of a job. See, that's what I, like, that's why I, I, I know he would be proud of me because yeah. I really built all my shit from dirt. Like, I ain't had yeah. no support with this shit for real. You know what I'm saying? At all. Like, no financial support, no nothing. Like, everything that I got, I got it from the ground. You feel me? Yeah. And that's what I feel like he'll be more proud of. One thing I could say is we always ask a question, man. Like, um, I want to know your top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Any genre. Number one. My pops. Hey, boy, that's a good choice right there. Why? Um, at first, my pops wasn't always there. Okay. Feel me? Like, one artist that always been there was Juvenile. Okay. Always there. You dope, feel me? Dope, Even when my dope. daddy was alive, I used to like Juvenile. Juvenile. You feel me? Yeah. He'd be like, yeah, you know? But as I got older, I understood why he was the king of New Orleans, my pops. Why? You know? Why was he the king? It's just what he... Like what do you represent? Don't know nobody else music make you feel like his like a lot of people make great music, you know what I'm saying? But that's real authentic rap. You know, and, and compared to the era that it come from, like he was the only person during that time doing that. Like when he dropped this project, Lil Wayne dropped two. You feel me? And he was throwing that shit out the window. Really? Yeah, I'm telling you, quarter one. They they didn't even care nothing about that. <laughs> they just care about your dad. Telling you. That's what it was. That's what it was. It was on that little weed. You think that's the reason why he was mad when he seen? No, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> but they were really throwing like it was really all about your pops project. Yeah, he was going crazy. And that's a good thing, man, because look, I say God know what he's doing. Like a lot of times you you didn't you would never knew he wasn't gonna be here at the time, but God always looks on the other side of what we look at through this people whole life and See the whole picture. Right. So, you know, I look at my partner. He used to have better stuff than me growing up. He ended up dying at 27, 26. And, but I always used to be like, dang, envious, like jealous of kind of what he had versus what I had. But, but now, you know, time passed on. I understood why God let him have the things he had so early on because he passed away early. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So I might not have understood it when it was going on, but. It clicked at some point, hey, man, that's why that happened. And I know, like, damn, that, that's why he was like he was. Right. You know what I mean? Very talented guy, man. Miss Mike. But, um, yeah, number two. Um, like I said, my pops, Juvenile, got to be number two. Juvenile, number two, man. That boy, that was bad. Wasn't it? Which was your favorite song by Juvenile? Man, I don't even know. I ain't going to lie. Because throughout the years, like, I've always been a part of his career. Like, even before me and him just connected. I was always deep in, like I always like, like you know how people listening to a CD for a certain song that they gonna like. I'm pumping the whole CD. I'm pumping. I know every song word from word. You feel me? It was so. It, it was different. It was arrows of that boy. I remember one time. It was time. arrows of him. because he was with it almost. He would rap a lot of times. Exactly. Like, he was like, with before that. He was with Cash Money. Don't man. get it twisted. But it was phases of him that went in and out of situations that made him look different. Atlantic rep, records, records, juvenile. Like, That's man, right. I'm telling you, it's different version of juvenile. So juvenile had to be number two. Number three. I don't know who would be number three because yeah, yeah. I like. Let me see. It had to be me. I figured you was gonna say that. It had to be me. But if I couldn't use myself, and a lot of people might like, they might be like, "Oh, that's crazy." No, that's you crazy couldn't use that. It. It'll probably be if it had, if it couldn't be me, it'll probably be like, it'll it'll be in between like Young Thug, Pee Wee Longway. Really, you like Pee Wee Longway? Yeah, Pee Wee Longway, like to me, I think Pee Wee Longway like the coldest rapper to come out of Atlanta today. Yeah. Wow. Pee Wee Longway. On side of Young Thug, yeah. Pee Wee Longway. Pee Wee Longway. 
I don't know. You probably can't understand what he be saying, bro. I'm looking I come at from an era. You gotta realize you got you mess you mess around. You got some niggas down here, man. You got you got Gucci, man. You got Ti. Gucci, man. You got oh, Rocco down Gucci, here, niggas. You, you know who it. Rocco is? Yeah, Rocco. The, look, listen. Come on, man. You got some niggas down here, man. Then you got JD he down here. About listen to what cats. I'm saying. That's listen to what I'm saying. It doesn't matter about how old right. he is. He said in Atlanta, you can't do this, man. Ludacris even down here. These niggas got some niggas down here. They okay. All old. So okay. I would put to the me baby. to me no Migos no what no they ain't talking what he talking it's what he talking what he talking he talking like all right like he this is why I said it had to be between him and Young Thug like a lot of people look at Young Thug they was like I don't understand what he was saying like when he first came out I don't understand what he was saying but if you listen to what he's saying he really spins some shit. You feel me? Nigga, Rich Homie Quan ain't bad, nigga. Rich Homie Quan? Stop he playing, hard, man. He hard, but... You, you, you over here talking about, no, 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 tell me, there's some All niggas right. out here, man. I'm a trapper. I'm a trap rapper. Pee Wee Longway, one of the reasons why I'm a trap rapper. Pee Wee Longway and Young Dolph is the same type of artist. They just don't rap the same. You wouldn't even think that, right? No, Dolph was cold, but Key Glock, Young, I'm a, more of a Key Glock fan. Look. Which is, of course, a branch of Dolph. Bankroll Fresh and Pee Wee Longway is the same type of rapper. Yeah, I can see that. But they don't sound the same. He got the he got his sound like how Thug had his sound, but he stand what he saying and the words he used like he twisting it up. Like you feel me? Like nah, I get it. Oh, I, I guess you just gotta listen to him. Like I've been I get listening it, to people way since the Blue Eminem the first one. Damn. Real tough. Uh, I'm just trying to I'm trying to get with it, man. Like I said, I see a lot of these youngsters coming out, man, doing their thing, man. Um, y'all all dope to be honest with it's you. It's a lot of dope artists. But you asking what my favorite, what my top artist was. That nigga said Pee Wee Longway. Yeah. Number three, if he couldn't say itself. I love Joe Gas. Lil you. Baby. All right, Lil Baby. Lil Baby Hard. Come on, there it is. Lil, I already Lil, knew it. No, Lil Baby Hard. But <laughs> and, and he a trap rapper. Oh, it, I just like I like Pee Wee Longway Bro, flavor. I'm, I'm gonna like, be honest with you. You gotta listen you wanna to know who I, I'm a money man fan. Money man cold. <laughs> Just, Money Man You know, cold. you forgot about Money Man. You Money Man, one of my favorite Atlanta rappers. Exactly. But he not my top. Why you think Money Man? Why you think Money All right, listen. You uh, telling me Pee Wee Long You listen, can't listen, say Money listen Man? Listen to what I'm about to say. I ain't say. All right, Money Money Man, like, uh, be like right there with Pee Wee Long Way. Probably like, you know what I'm saying? One or two players under him. Like, not but, under him. About the I ain't same. talking about. About the same. I'm talking about on my list, personally. Okay, okay, yeah, that's your list. <laughs> listen, all right. Think about how many rappers Money Man did a CD with out of Atlanta. He don't really do nobody but Pee Wee Longway. Cause yeah, he, he don't know, really mess around like that. He know like who, who Pee Wee Longway is. <laughs> he don't really, don't really mess talk. around like that. Real tough. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One One. Yeah, we gonna talk.